In this week's edition of Grant's Getaways, Grant McComey visits a wildlife artist who goes birding in boring Oregon, where backyard birding and creative artistry attracts some tiny hummingbirds. The sunny warm days are fading fast. So Dean Krauser finds magic in the moment. They're magical, it's true. Just watching them, the way they move. Krauser is an artist who admits he's making up for lost time. His focus is wildlife. They're fascinating and you could sit there all day. We've enjoyed outdoor time with Dean before. One winter at the Jewel Elk Refuge with an invitation to see the wildlife artist at work. It's pretty neat just to watch their mannerisms and their feeding and in their hierarchy of who's pushing who around. Anybody would love to go out and see that. Krauser's had many interests in his life and set many records too, like the NCAA track and field championships he won in 1982 at the University of Oregon, where he still holds school records in shot and discus. He enjoys a family of successful athletes, too. Son Sam was an outstanding Olympian. Daughter Haley, top of her sport, too. And then there's nephew Ryan Krauser, a world champion who continues to break shot put records wherever he competes. You hear a lot of birds, don't you? There's a lot of stuff here. Recently, we joined the Oregon native at a wildlife mecca you may have missed, killing wetlands in Washington County. Krauser finds it flush with waterfowl this time of year, so his artist's eyes turn to the birds. Looks like a little, maybe a hen mallard or something. She's having fun. But it's not a passion for ducks or geese that thrills him most. Rather, the tiniest and most graceful, those hummingbirds. They're so tiny. Their color, their movement, their shape, everything. Let me get some paint going here. Krauser captures hummingbirds in a way no one has tried before. He doesn't paint every feather, but suggests what could be, and that sets him apart from everyone else. I'm just trying to get something fun to happen here where you try to work kind of fast. And it almost didn't happen. A number of years ago, he was thinking of throwing in the towel. The elk, the trout, the scenery just wasn't working. Harder still to sell. But his wife, Molly, had another idea. And Molly said, well, why don't you paint something other than a fish? And I remember my quote was, what else is there? That's what I said. Well, what else is there? <laughs> and she was out in the garden and in a flower patch and a little hummingbird was coming in right there in front of her. And she said, paint me a hummingbird and then make some prints and take it to your next show. If they sell, they sell. If they don't, they don't. It doesn't really matter. She said, do it for me. So I did. And that's when it happened. He sold all the prints and the original before the show even opened. It absolutely changed everything, the direction. Today, his prints and assorted hummingbird gifts are found in galleries and shops everywhere. And soon there will be more, a book. He calls his original children's story, Wonder. Soaring and sailing, way up high in the sky. If a bear could have feathers, would he be able to fly? He's penned the prose and is creating the art for a story about a little bear full of wonder for all that is wild outdoors. It's almost like everything can be explained. iPhones and the internet. And let me explain to you how this works. And it seems to me that the, the sense of wonder, it almost seems like it's fading away with this technology. Dean is a big believer that we make a living by what we earn, but we make a life by what we give. He plans to give a lot more for all of us to enjoy. I feel like with my painting, I can get better at it. If I can use it to do something new, like a book, that would be, that would be a cool thing. I think it's so simple, it might, it might be good, I don't know. In Boring, Oregon, with photographer Jeff Kastner, Grant McComey, KGW. And be sure to watch our half an hour program of Grant's Getaways. It airs this Saturday and Sunday right here on KGW.